I hope you're having an awesome day. You are listening to the Sprout Up, Sprout Up, the Sprout Up Podcast. Your study hack buddy, your source of science, research, and agriculture discoveries. And your virtual friend who will tell you not just the things that you want to hear, but the things that you need to hear. Again, this is the Sprout Up, Sprout Up. The Sprout Up Podcast. I am your host, Arvin Joshua P. Barlongo. And for this episode, we will be talking about the valuable lessons that I have learned in college. And how can they help you as a college student as well. But before all of that, let me just introduce to you who we are as Sprout Up I-6111. So first, Sprout Up I-6111 is a startup social enterprise focused on educating and encouraging Filipinos, especially the youth, on agriculture, research, and the sciences. But we are also concerned on the whole well-being of a student, thus this podcast. We are also focused on life, life as a whole, life when it comes to decision making life in the aspect of all the factors na naka embed sa ating daily living so our vision is to become one of the pillars of agricultural education in the philippines known for instilling knowledge and of course social empowerment and equipping our citizens with essential tools for household food and nutrition security. So, these aspects, itong mga technical aspects na to on agriculture, on how we are, uh, how can we be equipped when it comes to food security and, and nutrition security, can be uh, seen sa aking mga uh, YouTube channel, sa TikTok. Yan. So, all of those technical stuff will be posted on those platforms. But here in this uh, in this podcast, our goal is to let you, the listeners, see and hear different stories of life, whether it be a life of a student, a life of an agriculturist, a life of an of an educator, a life of a family member. Ganon. So it is it will be focused on those aspects and how can we be uh, related sa mga issues, sa mga bagay that we will be tackling then for the next episodes. So, we will be having, you know, uh, different guests siguro on those different aspects of life as well. Actually, we are a grant awardee rin of the Department of Agriculture, Kabataang Agribis Competitive Fund, last 2021. So, we are focused on the education, science, research, agriculture, and life. Those are our core values as a, uh, you know, company, as a startup. Yan. So, for this podcast, we will be, uh, you know, premiering with this topic. This is a very exciting topic. The valuable lessons that I have learned in my college life. So, these lessons are things that I realized along the way. So, I think that if you are listening to this and you are a student in college, it is very helpful helpful for you because these are, you know, tested na mga uh, lessons na. Yeah. So, baka makatulong din siya sa inyo. Pero, actually, it differs from person to person. Pero, sana makatulong din to sayo as an individual. So let us start with my first point. The first point is knowing your core values. It is very important for us to have core values. To, you know, list down what are the things that you value in your life. For me, I have three core values which is lordship, relationship, and excellence. So, for lordship, it is my relationship with God. Uh, relationships naman is relationship with my family and relationship with the people around me, my friends, and everyone. 
And lastly is excellence. I placed excellence sa last to remind me of, to be excellent as well in my relationship with God and my relationship with other people. So those are three of my core values. So it is very important for us to have and declare this, to know this by heart. Kasi core values mo nga siya, which means these are the things that you really value in life. These are the things that are really important and dear to you. It is very important for us na alamin yon, kasi it will help us decide. It will help us manage our time, manage our energy, manage our resources kapag alam natin kung ano nga ba yung mga pinapahalagahan natin. So, for example, actually I've used this for a lot of my videos na in TikTok and YouTube uh, most of uh, several times during my college days meron ako mga ganitong eksena 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 na anong tawag dito for example meron akong exam for today ay hindi meron akong exam siguro bukas or sa isang araw then if one of my friends will you know chat me na Arvin I need someone I need ng kausa parang ganun I will go there kasi, one of my core values is relationship. Relationship with, with my friends. So, I would weigh that more than my academics. Kasi yung, why? Yung kasing academics ko ngayon is hindi pa naman siya urgent. Uh, siguro in episode 3, I will be, uh, you know, I will be talking more about this, the principle of Kronos and Kairos, which was also imparted to me by one of my professors in UPLB. Napakalupet. And ayun, I look forward to that episode para i-share din yun sa inyo. Ayun, uh, knowing your core values is important kasi it will help you decide. Kaya nga sabi ko din, napupunta ako doon kasi relationship with other people is a core value of mine that weighs more than my academics. Although it is also a, a way for me to express my excellence in my academics, your time And the timing ng taong yun is counted ren. So, kailangan nating ma-weigh yung mga yan. So, this actually takes a lot of, you know, uh, trial and error then. Perhaps, after you have uh, decided about something, ask yourself na, did I do it right? Did I choose the right thing to pursue or to, to do for this week? Parang ganun. You can ask that to yourself. And, hindi to rin naging one, one snap lang, okay na itong principle na ito sa akin. I failed as well a lot of times. But I want you to know that, that, that it is important for you to try. So, if you have, uh, if you are hearing this and you, you still don't have your core values, I encourage you to write down those core values and look back at them every time that you are deciding. Ask yourself, if I will do this, are these things in line with my core values? Parang ganun. Ayan. So ask yourself that every time that you decide about something. Yun. Which will bring us to my next point that it is important for us to choose the right people. Choosing the right people is important in college. Choosing the right people that uh, that uh, will be surrounding you. Sino yung mga kaibigan mo? Sino yung mga uh, tatakbuhan mo when you are happy? Tatakbuhan mo kapag sad ka? Tatakbuhan mo kapag stress ka na? Who are those people? Why is it important for us to have people that we can run to during college? Because college, face it, that it is full of frustrations. It will be full of you know stressors. That can not only affect you in a physical way, but even in a mental and, and an emotional way. And it is important for us to have someone na pwede nating pag ng mga bagay-bagay. Ganon. So, it is very good kung meron tayong mga ganon tao. Who are those people na naisip mo while you're hearing this? Who are those people whom you can be vulnerable with? Who are those people whom you are celebrating your victories with? Who are 
listening to your breakthroughs, who are those people who are there when you are crying, who are those people who are there na, kung kailan stress na stress ka, na dinadumayan ka sa mga rants mo, who are those people? I hope that as I ask those questions, there are some people who are flashing through your minds. And I hope that you are surrounded with the right people. Kasi ikaw rin yung magdi-decide niyan eh. <laughs> ikaw rin yung magdi-decide niyan. Kasi sa college, ang dami mong uh, pwedeng maging people para marami kang pagpipilian. Ganun. Lalo na rin in my setup in UPLB, I have different classmates in every uh, subject. Iba-iba. Ganyan. So, it is very crucial for me as well to develop those strong friendships. Kasi ang sabi nga nila, di ba, uh, yung rope, yung rope, di ba, yung rope natin ay nakatay siya, parang tatlo siyang nakatay. Yung mas ma-strong siya kapag tatlo siyang nakatay. Actually, if you, if you will analyze pa dun sa mga lubid-lubid natin dyan, mas marami pa siyang parang strands within one strand, parang ganon. Which means, it you will be stronger if you're with other people. Yan. And that will bring us to our next point, which is celebrating your victories. So, celebrating your victories, either it is a small victory or a big victory, kahit kunwari nakatapos ka ng quiz, nakatapos ka ng isang activity, performance task, yung mga ganyan na bagay, nakatapos ka nun, celebrate that victory. Perhaps you can celebrate it with other people or ce- or celebrate it with your, you know, with your family or w- or just by yourself. Ganon. <laughs> like, celebrating, treating yourself with one episode of uh, K-drama, one episode of that series that you are watching, that is a mode of celebrating. One of the things that I, you know, I practiced sa aking isang sem kasi ay parang iba-iba ako ng moods per sem kasi nag experiment din ako what are the things uh, ano yun, what are the different modes of learning na kaya ko pang gawin or kaya kong i-discover and I'm finding the best way or the best strategy that I can think of ganun meron ako isang sem na I ob- I tried to limit my learning you know my studying pala limit my studying time hanggang 8 lang yata. 8. Ayan. Kasi meron ako mga synchronous nun. So, ang study time ko lang is from 7am to 8pm siguro. Kapag kumari, meron pa akong kailangan i-review or such. But I always look into it na meron akong rest. Tapos, after nung 8pm na yun, or 8 or 9, basta ganun. After nung time na yun, it is my time to treat myself with an episode of a series. Ganun. So, nakaka, nakaka-watch pa ako ng series noon. And guess what? That semester is one of the highest grades na, na, na nakuha ko. Pinakamataas pinaka, pinaka, pinaka kong jiwa. Yung semester na yun. Tapos, ang nakakatawa, nakatapos pa ako ng mga 20 yata na different series. Kasi mahilig ako maghanap ng mga series sa Netflix. Ganun. So, nakatapos pa ako ng different uh, different series. So, Diba, ang, ang productive. Wow, jump lang. <laughs> Yun. So, it is very important then to acknowledge and celebrate your victories. Celebrate it with people or celebrate it just by yourself. Yan. Just treat yourself. In short, yun. Tr- treat yourself. Whenever you achieve something or whenever you finish something. And, along with that, darating tayo sa fourth point ko as I end na focus on the process rather the product. Kasi most of the time, we have the tendency as human beings, lalo na ako rin, as a visionary myself, back then, nung first year ako, second year, even nung high school ako, I always aim for something. For example, ang aim ko sa subject na to, maka ako. Ang aim ko sa subject na to, maka 1.5. May mga ganun akong ginagawa before the semester eh. Kasi, tinit- una, tinatanong ko muna yung mga dati na, uy, kumusta yung ganitong subject? Oh, okay ba to or what? Tapos, tsaka ako magsiset ang tinitignan ko rin minsan yung, ano, yung course guide. Kung ano yung mga topics, kung ano yung self-evaluation ko, kung kaya ko ba makauno dito or what. Ayun, tinatanong ko yung sarili ko nun. So, I set goals for that. I set goals na ito yung ano ko. But, during those semesters, feeling ko mas na-pressure lang ako. 
mas na pressure ako to ala kailangan ko pala dito makauno kailangan ko pala dito maka maka 1.25 and ha, I and it happened na yung mga semesters pa na yon ayun pa yung mga medyo hindi matataas yung jiwa ko parang ganun <laughs> so anong tawag dito I learned to focus on the process na lang rather than the product kasi in the process dun ka mak- mas ma- mas makikita mo dun yung learnings kasi once that we focus on the on the product na mismo nakafix na yung eyes mo na uno 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 o kaya matapos to matapos to matapos to kailangan na lang tong ma- matapos maka 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 kuha na ako dito ng passing mark okay na kapag dun tayo nag-focus we miss the process and we actually miss the learnings na naka-embed dun sa process mismo, right? Kasi, naka-focus ka lang sa product eh. Pero kapag naka-focus ka sa process na hala, ang hirap nito, anong gagawin ko dito? Dun kasi nangyayari sa process yung problem solving, dun nangyayari yung mga ganong bagay. I am reading this book ngayon ni Mark Manson. And sa chapter 2 nun, ang title is Happiness is a Problem. And there, ang isa sa mga nag-strike da- sa akin doon is, ang sabi doon, the, uh, you know, happiness is in the process. It's in the problem solving. Dapat nandun yun. Kesa na siya yung product. Kasi most of the time, di ba, parang, ang goal ko sa life is maging happy. Ang goal ko sa life is maging ganito and such. Once that we fix our eyes on that thing that we want to accomplish, minsan, na mas na, mas na frustrate tayo minsan mas nawawala tayo sa focus pa minsan and most of the time we miss the point kasi nandun lang tayo nakafocus sa sa mismong goal na or sa mismong end point na but the real lessons that you will gain from college is actually on the process and this podcast this episode is a product of that process na ito mga sinasabi ko ngayon, yung knowing your core values, going with the right people, celebrating your victories, at saka yung learning, uh, focusing on the process rather than the product. These are fruits noong I started to look at the process itself and not on the product. Although it is, I do not have anything against mga visionaries or talaga. Actually, ako rin. I'm also a goal setter. I'm also a visionary. It's good. It is healthy. But we need, we, I I included myself because I am also one of this. We need to balance it out. Learn along the process. Learn along the process. Do not ever, ever forget what's in the process. Because in the process lies all the learnings, lies all of the things that you will look back in the future. Sabi mo, ah, grabe yung stress ko dati sa ganito. Pero ganito yung natutunan ko. All of those things. It is in the process. I hope you learned something from today's episode. Again, This is Arvin Joshua P. Berlongo for Sprout Up I-6111 para sa bayan, agham, at agrikultura. The Sprout Up Podcast!